Hello, dear guests. You are in our talk show, Crashes, and now the subject is are against or for homosexual men and metrosexual men as well. So now uh, these are our guests. As you can see, they are very interesting. Uh, Anna Maria, she is a nun. Tina, she is a journalist in a fashion magazine. Ursua, she is. <laughs> And also Mikio and uh, Turbopasio. Extra Extra <laughs> Yeah. So now we discuss the, the subject uh, are for or against metrosexual men, and as well, that's, that uh, sometimes uh, turns into homosexual, as you can see. Now, uh, Kira, can you please explain us from scientific point? Is this uh, a problem from early childhood? Of what form is it? Let me say it like this. You know, there are uh, four scientific groups that men actually became metrosexual and homosexual because they finally, after 2000 years, realized that being a woman is actually the right thing to do. So they transformed slowly by wearing makeup, by wearing jewelry, and then they want to try the love of a man, the touch of a man. So they transform into that. Do you think that every metrosexual man transforms into homosexual one? Well, that depends. I hope they do because they approach the whole idea of womanhood. They touch their feminine side. And I think that, that this is the last and final destination. And I think that, well, it depends from each individual, but um, they, they do eventually. Yeah, most of them they do. Okay, let's uh, ask Tina because she's a journalist in a fashion magazine. Now you prefer a metrosexual man. I mean, they're uh, they're on the cover of your magazine, so they attract attention. Is it true? Absolutely. I mean, um, I believe that every person has the right to express himself. So why should men not uh, wear makeup, wear jewelry, and other stuff if they feel like doing this? I mean, I have I can see no objection. So if a man is scandalous, if he's a metrosexual, he's more attractive and he has more chances to, to appear on your covers. Is it a discrimination? No, I don't see it that way. But, as you know, uh, people who... Uh, there is a certain agenda with people who... with the people who we put on our... Um, magazine? <laughs> um, they should... Um, they should, um, they should, um, should uh, look like a certain way. Okay, exactly. like for example, David Beckham. Yes, and while speaking of, uh, of David Beckham, he is a metrosexual and yeah, he is he's not a homosexual. Yeah, of course, that just proves that being a metrosexual is a way of expressing yourself. It's not a part of homosexuality as your, as another guest expressed. Okay, let's uh, mm. say of another uh, of, of <coughs> our other guests. They are a couple. Uh, she's a folk singer and he's a sportsman, right? Yes. 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 My new album guest. Oh, and okay, okay. Uh, okay. You you speak about this later. Now uh, you must uh, say your opinion about uh, metrosexual men. Is it uh, do you like this kind of man? What is this? Okay. Let's let's give the same. But I want to sing. I'll give you the word play. Okay. What about uh, what about you? You are a nun. <laughs> yes. yes. Okay. What what does uh, what does uh, turns a thing about uh, this behavior? Uh, Maybe sexual, homosexual, and so on. Um, the church should exactly these people. Uh, they should uh, because uh, they must be as uh, well um, or uh, one. Um, the church uh, think they are um, crazy men. They are crazy men. Oh! So you do not approve of uh, <coughs> objection. Yeah? This is true, uh, pure discrimination. <coughs> I just want to stress one more time. It's the person himself who chooses what she or her, she or he wants to be. He is who forms his personality. Okay? So I would just like to put this here. Okay. <laughs> 
And now let's give this, the word to our last guest. Your name is Ursula, right? My name is Ursula. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the most beautiful girl in the world. Who would go to Russia? Who would go to Finland? To Malta? Don't you think so? <laughs> Oh, my God. 